This video is sponsored by Music Magpie. For more details, please look in the description. So today's vlog comes from here in Stretford, in the away end, which is just behind me here. There's a Manchester derby sets to be uh, perhaps significant and certainly very cold today. And a few flakes of snow about as well. What will happen? Let's find out what the fans think. Sick in the stomach as always, Ian. Derby day. Doesn't change. Don't matter for favourites, apparently. Looking forward to it, mate. Do you feel optimistic? Now I've seen it company starting, definitely, yeah. I think that's a big, big plus for us. So yeah, fancy us now. Same, sick to stomach, uh, but a bit more settled now, company starting after all that mind games with Pep and Jose going on, so. Tough game, don't enjoy Derby Day. Uh, hey, let's get some out of it. A draw, all oh, we need is a draw. Let's smash them, mate. Smash them. What's it feel like being here? Awful, innit? I hate it, I hate it. Got to burn all my clothes tonight when I get back home. Feet on the way out. Come on, City! Come on, Come on City! Not quite the mezzanines at the Etihad, is it? A little bit more packed. A little bit. I mean, look at the basics of the. It's not a great area, really, is it? It's an old, tired stadium. It'll be a difficult game, um, but I think we've got enough to beat them. We've heard a lot of talk on the way here from people that really are critical of our defenders and I think they're underestimating them, so we'll see how it goes. I think we're going to get a win. Why are City fans so confident? Because we're so used to City fans saying typical City and they'll lose and everything. Well, we've had a couple of dips in form and we've still found a way to win. Um, and that's sort of been Pep's trademark and I think we're slowly sort of realising that even when we're not at our best, we've got most to beat more teams. I'm dreading it. I don't know. It could go either way, couldn't it? Any three results today, I think, but hopefully the boys, at the moment, I'll take a point. I'll, I'll walk away with that, I think. I'll be happy with that. So, who knows? I'm very nervous, as always. I think it's... I think 2-1 City. Um, it's colder than the Ukraine, but I think that's been at Old Trafford. I feel sick, but we're here. Um, City till we die. Uh, as long as we win, draw, but win preferably. And on the Blues! Just a normal day in the concourse, cheesy lad. Are you confident? No. No, I'm not. I take a draw now, big time. You're not confident? No, not at all. Never am, Derby Day. Eh? I ain't. What, are you confident, Jesus? I'm always confident. No, sorry, I'll take one all now, big time. We need a strong referee in a game like this because, in my opinion, they'll be trying to kick us, and uh, is that, if that's the right expression, but certainly be physical. And the referee's got to make sure he gets a grip of it from the start to allow us to play our football because we are, in my opinion, a far better football team than them. The wind's not blowing, so we should be all right. <laughs> You're referring to the Mourinho comments, aren't you? The guy's a clown, mate. Sorry, the guy. All the other comments he's made as well about the yellow tag that Pep wears because Castle, what's he got to do with him? Got nothing at all to do with him. But he has to have. It's all mind games. He's trying to play mind games, but it's against the best when it comes to mind games. Well, watch me, Pep. I hope. Tell you what, as well, there's no room here at Old Trafford. Uh, just look at the room in the seats. I'm glad I don't have to sit down during this game because standing up at least frees your legs. But it's just such an old, tired ground that it gets such a great reputation. But when you actually come in here and see the mezzanine and the seats, it's just not what it's cracked up to be. I've said we're going. I think we'll win three-one, and I genuinely think Mourinho has been shown that he's worried with all the comments in the media. We've kept our cool, we've not reacted to it. I think we'll do our talking on the pitch. Very confident.
pushing up front, it's percentage football. They wait for us to make a mistake. But Sarney shouldn't have lost it there like no. that. He lost it too easy. And then Delft was a bit half-hearted, wasn't he? But it's all, it's all about percentage football with them. It's all about us. I know they'd rather watch us, definitely. Well, I'm so disappointed I've actually got back into it because we were seriously winning that. Oh. We were winning it, hands down. Um, coming here, 1-0 down. Fantastic, Greg. 1-0. They're, they're next up now, aren't they? Because at the end of the day, you think, wow. Uh, they, they were never in the game one little bit. Our possession plays been fantastic. Yeah, they're not even in the game, you know. Well, I, I, I mean, they expect people like West Ham, Swansea, yeah, Crystal Palace to play a long ball game. But to come Man United and see him play, the, even the fans are cheering, we're singing the bus song. The, the cape, I look to me right, and Man United are singing you part of the bus, Mourinho. I mean, yeah. what's that say? They want to see football like we all want to see football. No, let's, have a, let's have a better second half when they've got a bit of possession. Come at us and we'll work our way through the spaces. So we're going to be the so a very interesting change at the start of the second half. Vincent Company's gone off. Fernandinho's dropped into the back four with Gundogan just Gundogan just in front of him. I wonder how that's going to change the game. Get it, get it, get Boys, cheesy pal, men against boys. Should have, should have boxed the game off early, but it's been second half. We've had clearly the better team. Went 2 1 up. We seem to just give a bit of the ball away you know, towards the end of the game, last 20 minutes, having up the ball. But men against boys, cheesy, and uh, bring on the trophy. It's all over, pal. <laughs> of course, it's all over. There's no way they're going to catch back on us. Conte's conceded. Call it a day. Call it a day. No need to wait till May. Let's have it. Bring it on. Give what I've in the game. They seem to just. Uh, for the first 20 minutes I thought United would come out and have a go at us. They weren't in it. They didn't get the ball off us for 20 minutes. They're men against boys all through it here. Men against boys. Embarrassing to be here watching that. Imagine watching that every week. You can't oh, no, hide your no, face no, in work tomorrow, lads, because we're coming for you, lads. We're coming for you and you're getting it. I think, um, do we right? They're part of the bus. They didn't want to know. They, they threatened us a couple of times. Apart from that, we had the 90 minutes that we knew we, knew we would. Um, there was only one team in it. Um, I thought they'd batter us on the height, but I thought to many was hardest will. Um, I thought everyone wanted to know today, and that's the difference. We just um, we head and shoulders of them. Head and shoulders. They've got no quality at all. All they do is hump it up to the big fellas, 
and uh, I thought that caused us a problem and it never did. And all I've got to say is, Guardiola is just a, a medical man. Simple as that. Come on, City! They're at home, in their own backyard, and City must have at least 80 or 70% of the possession, passing the ball around, yeah. and their players are all just up there waiting for the ball. The game must have moved that ball about 100 times, and no one was getting it. It's absolutely embarrassing. Do you feel like to be a blue? Absolutely Quality. fantastic. Top of the league. I love City. We, we all love City, don't we? <laughs> we all City men, we all love them. Well, I've got to say, I've come to Old Trafford uh, on many, many occasions. This is uh, something in my 70s derby today, and uh, I've never seen United play like that before. Frightened, as the old cliche says, parking the bus. Uh, I think I'd be embarrassed if I was a United fan because they didn't have a goal. The one brief period when they had a goal just before half time, they showed that they were actually a bit better than their general play suggested. But for a manager like Mourinho to send his team out so scared, but what a compliment to City and how good does it feel to be a blue on a day like this? City 11 points clear at the top. Surely the league is City's now, isn't it? No. No chance, uh, it's a long way to go, you saw United a few years back, 8 points, dropped it, so long way to go but it's a very good start to it, so you never know, never know, it could happen, good. could happen. So even winning the derby and 11 points clear, you still, I'm a city, typical City? I'm a city, I'm a city fan, I'm never going to say it's done, never going to say it's done, but it's a good way to go, it's a good way to go, so hopefully, hopefully. Oh!